girl who came from the country which is surrounded by the beautiful seas and doesn't know how to swim. So guys, we just arrived to the sports store like a store with equipment for any kind of activities and sports because in this video we are going to teach Gwen how to swim <laughs> again What does it mean again? What does it mean again? Um, because we were already teaching me before in the Philippines but it was crazy because I couldn't even know how to do it by myself Co Me and Kuba are planning to have a swimming lesson with him again so it would be a great opportunity for me knowing that I'm from the Philippines but I know how to swim so it's so embarrassing as a Filipino <laughs> <laughs> yeah like isn't it crazy like a girl who came from the country which is surrounded by the beautiful seas and doesn't know how to swim <laughs> but we will fix that tomorrow but before starting we have to get some things for Gwen yes and here we are already and <laughs> what we need to get is Baby. to find the swimsuit this is for the kids section I'm not a kid but the size of you is as a kid no oh my gosh so <laughs> well actually this kind of store you can find any literally any kind of equipment for different sports starting with the football ending with the horse riding literally anything bicycles but today we are focusing for swim gear yeah i need a googles yeah googles and swim suit mm, I like this. so maybe gwen is later going to look like this <laughs> Are you? Yes, for sure. It's really hard for me to find something that fits to me. Everything here in Europe are big and it's so expensive as well. Oh my gosh. And I'm size 32, so I think 12 years old kid size. So go there to the kid section. No. It's a wasting of time for you here. No. I put myself literally to the trap. The trap itself is about once we are going for any kind of shopping, if it's grocery shopping or shopping for clothes in the secondhand store, it's going to take hours with Gwen because she's kinda indecisive <laughs> at going every going through every piece of thing here. So for now we can we have time to discuss guys. Like, I really love swimming, generally I was swimming since my early age. It was actually my grandparents who taught me how to swim. Later, when I was about a teenager, I started like swimming as a competition, swimming with my best friend actually. But we were not really like successful. We always ended the first, but from the bottom. <laughs> it's the best color for me. Black, blue, black, blue. Do you need the Googles as well? These ones are for the beginners. You will see if it can fit to Gwen. Is there any black? Does it fit like... It's... It oh, seems yeah. so uncomfortable. Filipino no. Michael Phelps. You know who is Michael Phelps? It seems so uncomfortable, it hurts my eye. Of course. All this kind of stuff you like literally don't need for swimming, but it will be better once you are having like Googles or swimming glasses. It's always better swimming with those because so many people are swimming like this when their neck is bended to the back and swimming, which is actually not really good for the spine and for the back spine it's always 
the best to lean straight on the water your head is pointing down to the bottom of the pool or to the sea or to the lake so you are having a natural shape natural. of your body natural natural this seems comfortable is it? Mm -hmm. the eyebrow mustn't be under the rubber into hair as well mm, I look horrible on this <laughs> let's see smile <laughs> like a frog what? it's like sucking my eye it's not supposed to, to be so the water will not get inside and then there is as well a swimming head for a woman so the hair is not getting in your way while swimming like the correct way you will make a knot of your hair and then you will put the head over yeah this one is fine so literally once you are wearing a head while swimming your hair is not visible yeah so right now we are going to the changing rooms to make sure the size of swimsuit for Gwen is okay. I'm gonna try for the 12 and 13 years old. So let's see. <laughs> so half of your age. Gwen is currently trying the swimsuit and picking which will suit her the best. And talking again about the swimming. I always love the swimming most out of the all sports because it's quite not that harmful as any other activities like running, walking, playing football, basketball, anything like that. During those activities when you are running and everything, there are like heavy drops on your joints. But swimming is literally like very not that harmful for your joints. There are not like there are not that heavy jumps, nothing like that. Of course, if you would ask any of those professional swimmers, could be they will tell you they have like troubles with their shoulder joints and like that because that's the most used part of the body, the shoulder. Generally, if we will speak about doing sport on the professional level, it's nothing really healthy those sport people are like getting their body used so much getting tired it's nothing really healthy but lucky for us with Gwen we are not any professionals we are just the amateurs in those and just enjoying and not taking it like kind of seriously that's what makes me kind of happy like not taking the sport like seriously but just doing it because I won't, because I do what makes me happy. If I'm in the mood, go to the gym, I go to the gym, or swimming, or running sometimes as well, depends. But I'm not really like forcing myself too much. Okay, of course, discipline is important, but in a way which is still like comfortable for me. So guys, we are done shopping and now we are going home. I really didn't have a plan to swim because when I was younger I was drowned and I almost died of that time if my brother was not there for sure I don't know what happened to me now so that's the reason why I stopped um, swimming I was still 8 years old way back then so sometimes the water especially if the water is not clear it really makes me feel scared it's like I have phobia with that after getting drowned so for tomorrow I'm quite um, challenged and at the same time I'm happy and excited that I will be starting learning and, and here we are together with Gwen another day it's a day D because right now we are going to swimming so we will get we will get to the car and we will transfer to the lake lake? are you kidding? no lake? no and where you want to swim? Of course, in a warm place. It's too cold. So My God, I'm gonna. Means die. the lake is not warm. No. Where else? Pool. In the pool. Mm -hmm. Boring. It's warm there. <laughs> okay. So Gwen wished to swim in the pool. So 
So let's go to the pool. Right now we are heading to the public swimming pool. Public? Yeah, public. I wonder how many people are there. Payment? Free? Of course there is payment, nothing is free. Public nothing free. in nothing in this world is free, baby. Uh, if you see public in the province it's really free. Is it? Hmm. It was kind of like a labyrinth there in the changing rooms. I'm quite afraid that Gwen will not get confused of how it works everything here. Everyone has its own like, like a box where we can put our clothes but for opening you have to use something like a watch which is chipped. So I will just wait here for Gwen and <laughs> we will see if she will get inside. So guys, we are here already with our swimming attire. <laughs> with a swimming attire, but with a woman that doesn't know how to swim. So it will be very embarrassing for Kuba later. So let's see what will happen to me. Embarrassing for me? Yeah. In what way? Because I don't know how to swim. So it's you embarrassed? No, for you. <laughs> like the pool is 50 meters long. No. So at least how many times you have to swim across what's the goal you will set for today one meter <laughs> no how many times you will swim across the pools i don't know Let's 10 see. times no 500 meters at no. all let's see uh, you can see even children are swimming not on the adult pool there is no i can't see anyone so let's see. We have to start now because our time is running. We actually bought like two hours in the swimming pool, but I guess after one hour, one will be begging me to go home. <laughs> What's that? You did not wear properly? <laughs> oh, it's very soft. <laughs> you did not wear it properly. It's upside down. Oh, yeah? No. And you're it. crazy. <laughs> He's like an old man already. So here we are guys, currently in the water. Gwen is adjusting, is it cold? Yeah, very much. So warm up yourself. Two rounds. I don't know how to swim, how can I have the weapons? So try! Wait. Or... Is it getting foggy inside? Yeah. You want to know the trick? Yeah. So take it off, spit inside, wipe it with the finger and then wash it in the water. No, <laughs> it's not. <laughs> Spit! Like, there is little advice for you guys once you are swimming or diving and your googles are getting fog inside. Just really spit a little, wipe it with the finger, give it a wash in the water and you are ready and no more foggy googles. Years of experience of mine. <laughs> you need to learn the first how to breathe inside the water. Oh. So you will have once you are above the water, you will breathe in with your mouth, and once you are under the water, you are breathing out by your nose or mouth. Huh? Like bubbles. And you are making the pants just like this guy. Look at him. <coughs> he is swimming. Once he is above the water, breathe in. Once he is under the water, breathe out. <laughs> we are going to learn the swimming style like breast, breast stroke. That's what most of these people are swimming here around. That's what we are going to learn today. You will bend your knee. Bring to yourself and kick. And again, 
and again. Arm. Uh, we will connect it together. No, every time you go with your arms, you are going up with your head. You are not staying under the water. Why? Because that's how it's done. Easy peasy. Okay. Understand? Yeah. Okay, so... <coughs> going back. You need to find your rhythm. Rhythm is important. And try to stay straight with your body. Hold a straight line. Uh, yeah. Stretch your arms and stretch your legs. Every time, every stroke, so every stroke is one breeze, every stroke. So the theory is perfect. <laughs> Gwen knows the theory literally perfectly, but the worst thing is the action, <laughs> the exam. <laughs> Practical exam <laughs> is always harder. <laughs> I told you, even driving. Very Everything can be taught and learned. Really hard. So let's go. <laughs> Gwen is making huge steps forward <laughs> in her today's challenge. You will show. No, it's still wrong. <laughs> it, of course, it's still wrong, but it's improving. <laughs> and Gwen is just laughing. <laughs> is it funny to be clumsy? Yeah. <laughs> and is it tiring? No. <laughs> and here we are again during our lesson. But our student already, our student is already on a break. Hi guys. It's been. It's been already 30 minutes. Yeah. Is it going to continue? Are we going to continue the lesson? Yeah, of course. Of course. She's tired. <laughs> so Gwen is getting ready to jump again to the water for her, for her final attempt of breaststroke swimming style today. I guess, baby, we are not reaching our goal that you will swim across the whole pool today. <laughs> <coughs> but still better, little steps than nothing. Yeah. Gwen is going by little steps. Yeah. Gwen is very careful person. Yeah. But you need to learn how to take risks. Boy, the water is too cold. We should have make it warmer. It will be comfortable. We'll do it for sure. Today's swimming session, we are going to take a shower, dress up and going home. Mm -hmm. How was it? Why are you shaking? Cold. Cold? Yeah. 
Too excited for the warm bath or and warm shower. For dinner. <laughs> for dinner. <laughs> I'm hungry. So let's get some dinner. So guys, finally after a long swimming lesson session, I finally have my dinner. So I'm very hungry. I also have a stomach ache and not in the mood because I'm hungry. <laughs> cool, already know about that, but I'm starting to have like a tiger feeling. I'm transforming to be a wild tiger or lioness because whenever I'm hungry so I'm happy this time because we already have dinner something that I like and for now the swimming lesson is over <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -mm, it's not over yet like of course it's not over there is going to be like every week we are going to go swimming and Gwen can practice swimming improving but that's not what we are going to be posting about now you could just see what's the current state of Gwen's level of swimming mm -hmm. embarrassing right? yes <laughs> <laughs> and it's but gonna test your patience it's gonna test my patience and yours as well no and yours will how long you can last yourself teaching how to swim so in the next video about how this swimming part <laughs> The Gwen should be already able to swim across all that pool. No, oh, you were not. I did not even. We did not even survive in skiing. <laughs> but I'm gonna try to learn swimming. Actually, <laughs> swimming. Everyone should know how to swim. Like I don't talk about those like competitions of those swimmers who are in the Olympic Games and so on, of course, they are on the different level. But the action like be able to stay in the deep water and not drown yourself and somehow get yourself back to the ground is important to everyone. But how was it all? How am I as a coach? You were very patient with me. Yeah. And it was also brilliant, like you were very specific the way you teach me but it's just actually me the problem here is me even if i understand the instruction but when i try to apply it it's very difficult for me very much so that's why it's gonna test his patience so for me it's a challenge as well but i believe i can make this challenge but that's all for today's video guys if you like this video you may hit the like button the subscribe button if you're new here and thank you so much for always supporting us and see you again next time